Welcome to Arts and Props, I'm Gail. I'm Luba. We have a fun project today. We're gonna show how to use these beads, these plastic beads right here. They're called perler beads to make ornaments. And, and they're available at Michael's. Michael's, yeah. Joanne Fabrics, mm -hmm. uh, Walmart I think might have them, mm -hmm. and so does Hobby Lobby, and a lot of art stores carry them too. We're gonna to be using a pegboard like this to put these beads on that have the holes in them. The fun thing is once you place them together, you don't need an oven, you just need an iron or a little small heat press. And this is what we're using. Okay. All you need for this project are perler beads, maybe some containers to separate your colors. Parchment paper. Parchment paper, a pegboard like this, six sides, mm -hmm. perler beads, parchment paper and iron, that's all you need to start off. To get the look that looks like these, we also use a little bit of metallic acrylic paints. I use the silver and yeah. rose gold. Then we also use Mod Podge and glitter to kind of finish them off just to give them a little bit more of a sparkly effect. And what better way to celebrate July when it's super hot outside than to make snowflakes with things that you bought for Christmas in July. That's right. <laughs> so you might be able to find them online on Amazon or in the stores coming up. And it's a fun project to do with kids. It's just that if you're doing this with kids, make sure that an adult or an older person is using the iron that knows how to use it properly because that's the most dangerous part about this. Creating the designs themselves is very much a kid's project. And it could be used for an ornament, a garland, um, maybe even a, a magnet, you know, you could attach it on the back and stick it on a whiteboard or whatever. Yeah, which yeah. would be great for teachers. Luba and I will both be creating one. She's never done this before. I have made about 15 of them already. We're creating polysymmetry where we're taking one sixth of a design and we're repeating that five more times. So it's symmetrical in more than one way. We're gonna get started. Let's get started. And yeah. I'll do one section, she'll do one section, then we'll show photographs of the sections so we can go quicker. And we and, hope and, you and, enjoy. And you'll see how it is. This is one out of four perler bead projects that we have coming up. So we'll show you more things in the future. We're beginning with the star shape right here. We're going to be creating a place from the center out and put one in the center, even if it's a different color, just so you know where the center is. We're really thinking about from these inner corners going in, we're creating one sixth of a design here that will be repeated all the way around. You don't have to use all the pegs, it's but just, you do want to use symmetry, which means that you could use a line down the center and all the beads have to be connected. So we have gold, silver, and clear. And those are the colors we're using to create our ornaments. So if you don't want to do the one sixth of a design, you could even follow the outside lines and create something that would look similar to the Star of David. Yeah, you can actually do follow the design and make uh, like a rainbow design following the you know the shape of the Star of David. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could. <laughs> Keeping in mind that all snowflakes are different and you can create so many variety of designs. So I'm gonna start off with the gold. It's, I've never done it before. And then we just put the beads right on the pegs mm -hmm. and I want to make sure it's symmetrical on both sides. Now I just want to point out too that if you go straight up and down Notice how the pegs are much farther apart. So it will always need two right next to it to hold it together. And I decided I'm gonna go across here and see what happens. That was just to show symmetry. Hmm. Okay. So here we're gonna have Okay, this isn't working. I'm gonna put it on glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glasses. Yeah, I can. can. It's, oh, cute. I like mm -hmm. what you're coming up with. I have with. no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do another diamond shape here. And then, 
Maybe come, no, I want to do gold down here. I want to do gold down the sides a little bit. When I first thought about using perler beads, I didn't know they came in metallic colors and they do. So I was really excited to see that. Okay, mm, that. Oh, I'm going with the silver right here, I think. I'm being a little inspired by what Luba's doing. What am I doing? <laughs> I like the little V shape this way. I want to do one upside down. So, oh, and okay, they do pop off yeah, easily. I just noticed that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, a white uh, flower circle. I just keep the one empty in the center. I'm just going around like hmm, this. There's, it takes six beads in total to go around one. And I'm gonna take this one out of the center. And I know that the one that's right here in the center is gonna be left open, unless I decide to put a color in there. Right here is gonna be this part. And I might want to come out to the side here a little bit and just add another little design element. I think- That's cute. I love the circle. I, I love yours. Oh. Um, I'm going to come right here in the center and just make like a little starburst. Should be going all the way down here. There's my center still. So let mm -hmm. me put this back just so you can see it. Mm -hmm. So I don't throw things off. I exchanged it already. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. You can see what Luba did, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to come out like this on both sides. And then it'll be about repeating this all the way around. Oh, that's beautiful. Aren't they fun? That is beautiful, yeah. And if you want, you since you're done, Luba, you can go on ahead and start on the next one while mm -hmm. I'm finishing this up. Right. And you're just repeating the same colors. Mm -hmm. Got you. In the same order. Okay, so let's start with this. So here's this. I and then turn it. And then this one's already going to be a part of this over here. But if I were going to follow this again, you can start from the center or you can start from the outside as long as that mm -hmm. piece is there. I have my paper folded here. And I want to be very, very careful picking this up and moving it on here because those will move around quickly. So I have mine on like this and Luba's getting ready to do hers too. My iron is smaller. If you have a Cricut hot press, you might be able to do this all at once. Here is the way I find that this works the best. On 320 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to do this half and I'm going to hold it on there for a count of 20, like 20 seconds. Oh, that's not bad. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then I'm going to come back and do 10 seconds on this side, 10 seconds on this side. Before I start, I don't want the plastic to melt on my iron, so I want to cover it with parchment paper, not wax paper, parchment paper that I got at the uh, Dollar that's Tree. A, that's a very good information. Helpful. And then we're going to fold it. So I'm just going to hold it here for a count of 20, and I'm already on three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, twenty. Very good. I was watching the seconds as we went along. Okay, so now I want to do the count to twenty again. Mm -hmm. One, e, two, e, three. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm on about six right now, actually. Seven. Um, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can see the clock. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm on uh, what on the on my on my iPhone. Oh, your iPhone. <laughs> okay, so see how this is really melted. This side isn't. So I'm gonna hold here just a little bit more. Especially since that was a tricky spot. Now I'm going back for count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Now Luba could actually be the one counting for me, except for she can't see the clock I'm like done. I can. One, two, three, three four, five. That's funny. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're perfect the way you are. Okay, so you can see that this is melted all the way around. I'm just going to do a little bit more here. If you don't want it to melt too much, so you lose your holes, but I might be losing it there a little bit. And I'm just going to go back and forth like this real quick. And I think I'm done. I'm going to take this and turn it upside down. And then I'm going to gingerly take this off. So there's my design. Yay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And we're going to melt the back side here. We're going to do a count of 20. Do you want to count again? Sure. So I'm going to be very careful. I like to pull it back instead of straight up, just pull it back slowly. And you can see where things have melted together. The holes got a lot smaller there, a little mm -hmm. bit bigger there. I could probably melt this side just a tad bit more, just so that it kind of matches a little bit better since I can't go back. And if I close it up a little bit, I'm going to be fine with that. Then we know for sure that they will stick together. Let's take this off and then we want to let it cool. And I'll just put this off to the side and let it cool. Okay. So we're gonna move yours more in here. Gingerly put it down on one side. Okay, so we're gonna count to 20, and that's two, three, four, After we finish making the ornaments, we take silver and rose gold acrylic paint by DecoArt and we coat the silver and gold beads. We let it dry and then we coat it with Mod Podge. I like to use a gloss Mod Podge. Then use this glitter from Hobby Lobby. It's a fine diamond holographic glitter. Then we coat both sides with this. Lastly, but not least, we take O-rings that you can use for jewelry to poke through one of the holes at the top so that way they're easy to hang on the tree. You can use a lighter to singe the edges so that the edges melt together when using ribbon to make a hanger. Here's some other patterns that we came up with when we were working on our snowflakes. Here are the finished ornaments that are ready to be hung. To check out our perler bead frame ornaments, please click on the upper right hand corner.